And today I'm going to detail the amazing compound geranile geraniol, which unfortunately isn't nearly as well known as its close companion, coenzyme Q10. Geranile geraniol is synthesized as part of the mevalonate pathway, just like CoQ10 is. And just like CoQ10, natural production of geranile geraniol declines steeply as we age. The two forms of CoQ10 produced in the body are ubiquinone, otherwise known as regular CoQ10, and also CoQ10's far more active reduced form ubiquinol. And as the root word ubiquitous implies, these forms are found in every cell of the body, with the highest concentrations found in, appropriately, high energy consuming organs like the heart, brain, liver, kidneys, and skeletal muscle. And ubiquinol is particularly protective of gene expression and DNA repair, among numerous other benefits. Geranile geraniol, which is relatively new as a supplement, increases endogenous synthesis of CoQ10 and, by extension, CoQ10's active form ubiquinol. So, for an older individual, if you're already regularly taking CoQ10 every day, then pairing it with geranile geraniol will definitely improve mitochondrial function and elevate CoQ10 levels closer to the abundant CoQ10 production of someone in their early 20s. And this is important for all of us because CoQ10 production peaks around age 25 and then begins a slow decline that unfortunately accelerates rapidly after age 40. What really makes geranile geraniol such a special complement to CoQ10 is that geranile geraniol's molecular weight is just one-third of CoQ10's, and this allows for easy cellular absorption. CoQ10 is already well known for dramatically increasing production of the universal energy currency adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. So regular supplemental intake of both CoQ10 and geranile geraniol can accordingly increase the rate of mitochondrial oxygen consumption, also known as mitochondrial respiration, and also thermogenesis, which is the burning of fat cell caloric energy to generate heat, thus boosting energy expenditure and physiological performance. And geranile geraniol accomplishes this by enhancing CoQ10's already powerful stimulation of the metabolism-boosting proteins sirtuin-1, sirtuin-3, and also the metabolic master regulator PGC1-alpha. And this is exactly why I've said that ubiquinol, or at the least CoQ10, should be a daily part of your life, especially for older people and or those of you who regularly hit the gym. And here again, geranile geraniol is a fantastic complement to CoQ10 or ubiquinol because geranile geraniol itself improves muscle force, which includes cardiac muscle contraction and relaxation, while also reducing skeletal muscle fatigue and inhibiting the atrophy-inducing gene atrogen-1. As part of its muscle support, geranile geraniol also reduces bone tissue resorption, or the breakdown of old or damaged bone which is ordinarily an essential process for daily life, but also one that can become problematically excessive as we age. Geranile geraniol's modulation of bone resorption is similar to that executed by the menaquinone 4 form of vitamin K2, which is uniquely appropriate because geranile geraniol also enhances the functions of all forms of ingested vitamin K, including menaquinone 4. And this is particularly helpful for anyone who regularly takes statins for cholesterol, because while statins are already well known for depleting the body of CoQ10, statins also sharply reduce the body's synthesis of geranile geraniol, leading to reduced vitamin K2 tissue deposition and increased risk of osteoporosis and calcification in the arteries, joints, and lungs. A daily dose of 50 to 150 milligrams of geranile geraniol and either 100 to 300 milligrams of ubiquinol or 300 to 600 milligrams of, of CoQ10 every day should be sufficient for daily support. But, as I've said before, a good sign to look for as to how much CoQ10 or ubiquinol you personally need each day is how much do you need to take to actually feel the energy that CoQ10 provides. In other words, if you're taking a small CoQ10 dose and don't feel energy from it at all, then gradually increase your CoQ10 dose by 100 milligrams each day until you do feel some energy. The progressive loss of mitochondrial function and accumulated DNA damage are both well-known ugly signs of aging, and excessive inflammation and oxidative stress stemming from excessively low levels of CoQ10 
are some of the major driving factors that lead to DNA mutations. And yet, CoQ10 levels decline significantly long before any outward signs of disease appear. So, incorporating geranyl geraniol in with your daily CoQ10 or ubiquinol can really help to combat age-related DNA damage in later years. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.